G'day, my name is Joe Spencer, I'm from Bow Wolf Builders, your renovation and extension specialist. Today I'm going to talk to you about the three fundamentals of a subfloor frame. We've got bearers, joists and stumps. So if you just come over here, we'll have a look at the stump section. The stump has an air cap on top of it, it also has a pin. The depth of your stump will be governed by your engineering specifications on each and every plan and they're all different depending on the soil and the different types of soil. Here we had to go down 1500 in deep depth and they were a 350 hole. Next on top of that we have the bearer section. Uh, the bearer is a LVL laminated together 90 by 45 times 2. So they're laminated together every 90 millimeters with nails and glued with ultraset. On top of that we have our joist section. Our joist is spaced at 450 centers the whole way through, except for the floor up here, which we've got additional weight and we've put them at 300 centers. Uh, our stump has an ant cap on top. Underneath the ant cap has malfoid. Malfoid is a damp coarse proof, so it doesn't allow any dampness to run up the, bear, up the stump into the bearer and rot away the bearer later. We've got a pin finish. There's several different types of finishes that we can have for a stump. We've got a pin, uh, we can have a bolt, or you can have a hanger that comes straight off them. The joist section on top uh, is laminated here because we've got additional weight being the laundry. But if we just shoot across here, you can see that we usually have them at 450 centers spacing. And if we have a join, we just overlap them. We've also got a... Um, joist joiner here which is between the joiner and the, the joist and the bearer just to lock it in there's no squeaks it reduces our squeaks etc here we have a bearer join so what we've got is a halving join i'll go through those different types of joins then we've laminated on the sides and we've got nail plates if we just scoot over here please matt matt has prepared a few different types of bearer finishes joins that we can use. Here we have a halving join system. So what we'd have usually is a 100 mil stump which sits approximately that far. We have 20 mil bearing of this full bearer on each one and then we've got a join of 60 millimeters joined over the top. Usually what we do is have the pin straight through or the bolt and then we'd have a nail plate on each side of that. Next we have the 22 and a half degree angle join. This is a very old school way of doing it where we just skew nail through each way um, and that way they'd tie it together, it wouldn't move about at all. The last but least and my favourite is what we call the 45 join and this here is a saw cut or a tooth cut and it goes inside each other so they can't pull out from each other at all. And once they've got a pin through them, it's locked in and can't move at all. So it helps with shrinkage and growth of any bearer and joist system. So from there, between the joists, we have our underfloor insulation, which you see we've got run through each and every one. And then on top of that, and then on top of that, we have our uh, particle board flooring. Our particle board flooring uh, runs in 900 millimeter strips and it's nailed five times across each joist. Every join uh, at the end of a board is joined over half of our joist. They're also glued down as well, again with Ultraset. That is my helpful hints for today on Joe's Carpentry. Um, if you'd like to see some more, just give me a call or ask any questions. 1300 Bowwolf. Have a great day.